Hi Cheeksters! Hi YouTube! Hope your day is going well. Like the title says, we're talking all about the pieces you need in your wardrobe in 2021. <music> If you're excited, okay, to see what these must-have pieces are for 2021, go ahead and smash that like button because it's gonna be good, sis. It's going to be good. If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle on this channel. So if that's the kind of stuff you are into, then you're in the right place. Get comfortable. But grab a snack. Let's get into this. So the first must have item that you need in your wardrobe 2021 is going to be a moto jacket. Now if you already have a black moto jacket, then consider, I present to you exhibit A, consider a suede moto jacket. I love the idea of a suede moto jacket, especially in this colorway because it's gonna be a workhorse in your wardrobe. You can wear this year round. Because of the coloring, you can pair it with all of the fun colors that tend to come out early spring. And then even in the fall, you can also pair it with all of your burgundies and your um, pumpkin colors, etc., etc. It is a year round workhorse. Now I picked this one up, um, I think August of last year and there are a few sizes left. I checked in plus. So if you want to grab this, I highly suggest you grab it. It's definitely worth it. It has some, some substantial weight to it. The quality is just unparalleled. It has brushed silver hardware through it. It also has this like um, belt that goes through the bottom. I don't know if there's an official term for this, but I just love it. All of the like accoutrements for what a traditional moto jacket, right? But the colorway just makes it a little bit more feminine, a little bit softer. I cannot rave enough, okay? If you do not have a suede moto jacket, you need one in your life. Another must have for this season is going to be a shacket. If you do not own a shacket, girl, what are you doing? It is like the season's must have item. I have two options for you here. This one I grabbed from H&M. It's sold out, but I found some really great options and this one right here is from Target, okay? Shacket kind of does the same thing a hat does. It really helps to complete your simple outfit. So if you're wearing a t-shirt and leggings and you need to run out the house, you can just throw it on, throw on whatever footwear choice, and you can even throw on a fedora if you choose or a beanie, and you have a complete outfit. If you have to jump on a Zoom call, really quickly you can throw it on again instead of like maybe an, a blazer if that's if you don't want to do a blazer right and it instantly elevates and completes your outfit shackets girl are a must-have for 2021 and there's so many great options so definitely um pick up one for yourself so the next category or must have item is going to be an initial necklace. Now I have two options for you right here. For some reason like jewelry with initials or personalized jewelry has definitely made a resurgence. I remember like in the 90s when we had like the little name necklace that you could get like the girls in, in New York City love those. Well, they're back in a slightly more elevated way. You can still get the name necklaces. Those are still super cute. P.S. Um, but I love these two options. So I have this style that was popularized by Celine, I believe. And then I also have this one that's just like a small pendant with the initial on it. Now I wore this one to death. Like I wore it so much that I started taking showers with it and I do not recommend that. This is silver with gold plating and because I started taking showers with it, it started to like the gold plating started to wash off. Um, aside from that, the amount of wear I've gotten out of this, if it was any other sort of like Forever 21 or super like 
cheap necklace, it would have fallen apart by now. So if you do not have one, I highly recommend one of these because they're just, they're, it's just perfect. It's perfectly dainty, right? You can wear it with dresses, t-shirts, jeans. Like if you look on my Instagram feed, you will see this necklace at least once like every four or five photos, okay? Because that is how versatile it is. Now, when you wanna make a statement, when, when you want people to know your name, or at least your initial, <laughs> then go for this one right here. As you can see, this is like still one of my top sellers on um, Amazon because you guys seem to love these. I got an S because of Supple Chic. And it is such a statement maker. Also, I for what I paid for it, I was like, oh, this is going to tarnish in like 10 seconds. I don't know what they put on this, but this thing has not, I've had this for almost two years, more than that probably. And it has not tarnished. And it is, I thought it was going to be like something that, you know, would go out of style really quickly. Sis, everybody's still rocking theirs. Everyone still loves these. And I highly recommend this. Okay. Highly recommend. So I only have one bag that I think is a must have in 2021. Like you need one of these and it's going to be the pouch bag. Now these bags, if you have followed my channel, if you've watched any one of my videos in 2020, you would see me rocking these bags and they're not going anywhere. They are definitely here to stay at least for the, the foreseeable year, if not two years. And this style was repopularized by Bottega, Veneta. Um, they had bags like this in the 80s. I remember when I used to go to thrift stores and I would see bags like this, but they brought it back. I have it in this color. I also have it in a black woven color. And they're just the perfect thing to, you know, put across, put under your arm, you know, and just, you know, you just serve luxury vibes, okay? Luxurious big girl, rich girl vibes, okay, for a fraction of the price. No, this one is not from Bottega. I do know some girls who have invested and say it's worth it, and I personally think it's worth it, but if you're not trying to spend like thousands of dollars, then I will have an option for you as well. Now, I could not do a video about must-have items to have in your closet and not include a pair of sunglasses, but specifically a structured cat eye frame. This is the Phoenix. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I talked about her a couple of videos ago. She was our first launch on SuppleChic.com. We have less than, how many do we have? Like, I know like, less than five or less than six left. This is the goat, okay, for those days where you have your hair in a sleek bun or a ponytail, this is the goat. For those days where you just got out of bed, you have to run to the store, you wanna create, this is the goat. For those days where you wanna look instantly put together, but you ain't got no time. What I love about these sunglasses is that they dress up anything. You can pair them with sweats like Hailey Bieber did all of the time. You can also pair them with a blazer. They just add like that sophisticated badass vibe to anything you pair them with and they are a must 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 have. Now you're not paying thousands of dollars okay because these are inspired um, by a designer pair. You are paying a fraction 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 of that. I will put a link to these for you down below. Just throw them on. Let me try and do them for you. You know, and look at that, bad girl vibes. Like, bad girl vibes, okay? <laughs> so the next I must have item in your wardrobe for 2021 is going to be a pair of combat boots. This is the um, first pair of combat boots I ever purchased. And honestly, that's because I think combat boots are ugly. <laughs> and I'm just being honest, I really think they're ugly. But, you know when something's ugly, beautiful? I think that's what I feel about a co combat boot, right? Um, they're ugly, but with the right outfit, they're just perfect. I love the idea of pairing my combat boots with 
things that are more feminine and just more just uh, the opposites for example i would i love the idea of pairing a rugged combat boot with a silky skirt right or a midi skirt or a slip um skirt which i've done slip dress which i've done in the past i love also pairing it with items that are very sleek and sophisticated like a pair of leggings and an oversized blazer so that just like that juxtaposition to me is very beautiful and forgetting about beauty let's just talk about like practical stuff and comfort I saw this meme um, on, not meme, but this TikTok where it, it was like uh, the trend was going around where the girls put on heels because they're about to go back to work and they tripped because apparently no one has worn anything but house slippers in the last year or so. So if you're trying to break back into wearing shoes, then combat boot are your best friend. I love these ones specifically because they're weatherproof. So they're made to be worn in snow and sleet and all of that. And you would see this boot and think it's like going to be super uncomfortable, but it's incredibly soft and comfortable and easy to walk in and perfect for the crazy snowstorm we were currently is currently taking over right now in the United States. So um, the only thing, the only wish I have for these combat boots is that they were a little bit taller because I like that taller sort of like mid shaft look. And I actually picked up another pair of like taller boots um, from H&M. So these are real leather and I can tell because the comfort is premium on these compared to those H&M boots. But you know, it is a trend, so I don't want to necessarily invest in two pairs of combat boots. So I like the fact that I got this one, which is very wearable. It's not that is more classic. It lends itself to be more classic than trendy. So even after we stop wearing combat boots, I know I can pull this out winter upon winter and still get my wear out of it. It's a pull-on style. It has a little tug here. And I did a full review of it on my Nordstrom haul. Last I checked, there were only a few options left in this style. So if you want it, sis, I would definitely grab it. Continuing on with footwear, another must have item you need in your wardrobe is a pair of snake skin pumps. You need these even in 2021. If you do not have a pair, these are workhorses. You can dress these up. You can pair these with jeans to dress them up. You can pair this with slacks for work. If we ever go back to going into the office, you know, because it's like a, um, a beige and a brown print, it's essentially a neutral, which means you can pair it with like bright colored pieces, like a bright, um, pink frock or a bright yellow frock or green frock. Like you can pair it with all the bold colors as you go into spring and summer, but also you can pair it with all the fabulous neutrals as you go into fall and winter. I've worn these with leather trousers and my, um, and my camel coat. I have worn these with like a all like beigey white outfit. I have worn these so many ways, these are definitely a must have. Continuing on with footwear, if you missed my most worn items for the summer, you would know that I raved like crazy about these sandals. I wore the ish out of these pieces as soon as I got them. This is real leather, it's very durable and there's just something very sexy about this. This is also in a neutral color which means you can wear it with all your fun summer colors. And if you're saying Chi Chi is the middle of winter, why are you showing me these shoes? Well, it's because they come back year after year. And the reason why they come back year after year is because they are a cult favorite. Literally, they make your legs look super slender and sexy. For those few of you who have warm weather travel plans, these are a must have, but like I said, these come back every year. They sell out every year because they are just such a great quality pair of sandals. And I'm gonna link to these anywhere I can find them for you because they are a must have. I like this one, they have different styles, but I like this one specifically because it has this little yoke detail around the toe and it doesn't have as many straps as the other style, which to me makes it just easier to put on on the everyday basis. You can see all of the cute little stitching. Again, I wore this for half of the summer and it's still in pretty good shape, must have. 
Continuing on with summer talk, another item that would be perfect if you have any warm weather plans or if you're just looking to um, the next season already. Um, in fashion, you already know that everyone is always kind of like a season ahead. In the, in the winter, we're already planning for the fall. In the fall, we're already planning for the spring. So I'm already thinking about summer and summer styles. Um, this is another must-have item for me. I talked about this like three years running and every freaking year this hat comes back and this hat sells out every freaking year. It is the wide brim, I think it's a four inch brim. Um, it's the quality for me, just a must have. And it goes with everything. You have the tan color with the contrasting black um, brim. It also comes in so many colors. Like they've, the Brixton team, definitely this is a best seller for them and they, they dived into it. So it comes in like a peachy color, it comes in black, it comes in several colors, and I will link it for you down below. And my favorite part about that hat is if you are a big, if you have a big head like moi, they actually make it an extra large, and I think extra, extra large, and a large, and I believe that is a size large. Let me look. Yep, this is a size large, and as you can see, it fits my head comfortably, okay? Must, must, must have um, that Brixton Joanna fedora. So continuing on with fedoras, this is a recent-ish purchase. I think I got this in like September or Black Friday. And I'm gonna add this to the must have list just because I did a whole reel on styling hats. I did a blog post talking about hats. And for those of you who are looking to you know, create looks that are finished and put together, a hat would do that for you, okay? Not only, especially in the winter, does it keep you warm, help you keep that heat in your body, but also it just pulls together your look and it really helps to amplify the vibe you're going for. So if you're going for something a little bit more boho, a Western fedora would work. If, even if you're going for something a little bit more edgy, it would work as well, I chose to grab this one in this tan color just because it's a more neutral color. It's not too harsh and it will work year round. Again, I decided to invest in this. This is, comes all the way from Australia um, because I have a big head and after searching and searching for more, um, for local, after searching and searching for versions that could fit my head, I finally found one that could. And this honey, is a statement maker, it's a must have. You can pair it with a turtleneck and some jeans and some boots and you look like you put effort in. And that's what I love about a statement hat like this. Now, continuing on with hats, another must have item. I feel like everybody has these, but I wanted to include it anyway, just in case, is going to be the beanie. Goes without saying that our style right now is so much more comfortable and so much more casual because most of us are working from home and just doing more home stuff, right? But if you have to, you have, if you have your like, you know, joggers on and a t-shirt and you wanna run to the um, supermarket, but you also don't wanna look like a com complete slob, um, I love to have items that can really help to create cohesive outfits. All you have to do is just throw on like a camel coat, like a belted coat, throw on your beanie, you know, your pair of combat boots, or even like, you know, pointy toe boots, whatever really floats your boat, sneakers, and you look in a pair of shades and you look like you were styled by a stylist. All beanies are not made equal, right? I've had, so I was that person who hated to spend money on accessories, but one thing that I have learned over the course of the last couple of years is that when you invest in your accessories, it elevates your look. So these are not super expensive, but they look expensive. They're kind of like a thick, woolly textures, and they are in the same vein of like the acne beanies. And if you know how much those beanies are, they're over $100. These are substantial, they're thick, they have a wide brim. They just look well made for a fraction of like an acne beanie. So I'm gonna link to these. As you can see, I have them in three colors. I have, as soon as I got, which one did I get first? I think I got this one first. Actually, I think I got both of them at the same time. As soon as I got these, I was like, okay, I need this in black as well. And 
it doesn't fail. I think it comes in two other colors as well. But I'm waiting for those colors to go on sale. Then I'm gonna get those other colors because these must haves. Now this is all, this video is all about fashion, but I just wanted to sneak in three beauty items that just were to me are must haves for you to include in your arsenal in 2021. So the first item is going to be a moisturizer um, for my combination to oily girls, especially this moisturizer. This is the gel nourishing probiotic gel cream by Kors. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have tried a lot of gel creams. Again, I am a combination to oily girl. I love gel creams. And what I find is that a lot of them are just way too light and for the winter time. What I like about this Kors cream is that although it's a gel cream, it still has some consistency on it. And that's because it's made from like Greek yogurt and Kors is a Greek brand. And it's just a must, must, must have. If you have oily to combination skin, for me, like the centers on my face always, you know, oil up, but the perimeters on my face are always dry in the winter. As soon as you put this in your skin, your skin is instantly moisturized and it doesn't feel greasy. Definitely a must have. The next item, it's still in the packaging because it's going to be going to one of you. Let me see if you guys can see it. There we go. And this is the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. If you follow me on Instagram, if you watch any of my Get Ready With Me on stories, you know that this is the GOAT for me. I rave and rant, rave about this sunscreen so much. For my dark skin girls, okay, who don't want that must, that, that, that white cast when you put on sunscreen, you will love this. This is actually clear on your skin. This isn't like, oh, you know, when you rub it in, it becomes, you know, it becomes clear. No, this is actually clear. The only thing that I don't love, absolutely love about this is the texture. It's very silicone-y, which is why it is marketed as a sunscreen and a primer. It's kind of like very silicone-y, almost kind of like blurring. So if you don't mind that feeling, sis. Even I, even though I don't love the feeling, I still use it. It's a must have and I'm sending this to one of you guys. The team at Supergoop were kind enough to, after I messaged them and told them how obsessed I was, they were kind enough to send me an extra one to give to one of you. Now, the last item I've talked about, I think a couple of times, ever since trying it, and it's not, <laughs> um, anyways, I'm getting excited. It's going to be this NARS, let me get the name correct. Power Matte. It's going to be the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. Now I know most of us aren't wearing lipsticks right now because we're home and because we're wearing masks. Um, but if you are a lipstick girl, if you love a bold lip, because when it comes to makeup, I am very lazy. I rarely do anything to my eyes. So I love to, you know, do a bold lip or really, you know, put on the highlight on the glow. And I am obsessed with the formulation of this product. This product right here. I don't know if you can see it, but this product right here, I am obsessed with the formulation. It is it's like, a, it's super easy to apply because it's, it's liquid and then it dries down and since this stuff does not budge, it's also like the most unassuming, barely there feeling on your lips. You don't feel like you have just something uncomfortable or cakey or any of the feelings that I used to have before when I tried matte lipsticks. This is, is a must have and I'm getting more colors. Actually, because of this, I decided to venture out to try even more NARS lip products because I'm obsessed with this. I actually have two of the crayon lip pencils that I actually need to go pick up from Nordstrom. But anyways, <laughs> obsessed with this and you need this in your, if you only buy one lipstick this year, buy this one, okay?
she'll stay put under that mask. So if you have any questions about any of the items I uh, mentioned in this video, definitely drop a comment for me down below. And when I'm not on these YouTube streets, you can always find me on the gram. Come on over, let's chit chat. If you have any pressing questions, you can easily slide in my DMs. I always check them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button subscribe, join the family for more videos like this, and check out this video, and I'm sure you'll love this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, stay blessed.